Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use if, then, else if, and end if in your Microsoft Access Visual Basic. You can consider this a beginner's advanced lesson. <laughs> Okay, so in our VBA, our Visual Basic for Applications Programming, we use an if-then statement to control what happens in the execution of the program. For example, if grade is equal to A, right, then message box the word excellent. So we've got a field or a variable called grade. And if that's an A, then we're going to pop a message box up on the screen saying excellent. And you have to say it like Bill and Ted. Excellent. If you want multiple things to happen, you want to issue multiple commands, if that grade is A, then we use multiple lines and the word end if to end that particular branch of the statement. So if grade equals A, then we're going to say excellent, and we're going to set score equals 90. What is score? Could be another variable, could be a different field on your form, doesn't matter. All right, whatever score is, it's going to get set to 90, and then we're done. Now, if you want to do one thing or do another thing, we're going to use else. So, for example, if state equals New York, then set the tax rate equal to 0 0.08. Else, or otherwise, if it's not New York, anything but New York, we're going to set the tax rate equal to 0. And if, we're done. Now, if you want to check for two conditions, okay, this or that, you could use two separate if statements, but it's logically better to use else if. All right, it's one word. In some other languages, it's two words. Be careful. Like I used to program in C, it's two words. But in Visual Basic, it's one word, else if. All right, so if the grade is equal to A, then message box, excellent, and set the score to 90. Else, otherwise, if grade is B, then message box very good and set the score to 80 and then we're done see either a is going to happen or b is going to happen okay or nothing might happen right if the grade is c in this particular case nothing happens it's going to check for a nope check for b nope if it's c nothing happens so we can have multiple else ifs inside of our statement to check for as many different criteria as we want to check for. So we'll check for A, excellent, B, very good. Else if grade is C, then message box acceptable. And you have to say that as a very disappointed dad, right? That's acceptable. Score is 70. <laughs> and if you want to account for any other possibility, you'd put an else after all of your else ifs. So you'd say if grade is A, else if grade is B, else if grade is c and then anything else if it's d f whatever it's going to be message box fail score is zero you don't get to pass and you're done okay now you're going to make sure that you indent for readability see how i've got the commands indented under the ifs and the else ifs now visual basic doesn't care i care your teacher cares it makes your code more readable for other people and for you in the future i've gone back and tried to figure out some code that i wrote 20 years ago and i'm like what was i doing i didn't format i didn't put comments in so trust me future you will thank you when you go back to reread your code later okay indent for readability please if you post some of your code in my forum for me to help you with and it's not indented no no help no help for you now, there's some shortcuts you could take. For example, true is assumed. All right, so instead of typing if is active equals true, right? Let's say that's a checkbox. Then do that. You can just say if is active. All right, the equals true is assumed. And here's another shortcut. I don't personally do this often because I think it makes the code difficult to read. But you might see this on some forums, on some websites, and some books. Right, you can use colons to separate commands instead of doing it like this. I think this is better, it's easier to read, but for brevity, if you're trying to keep your code short, this is equivalent to this. All right, so if is active, then x equals five, set y equal to seven, and then exit sub, it's the same as that. Okay, 
And again, I'm just putting that there so you know what it is if you see it. So that's it with the if then statement. If you want to learn more, watch my intro to VBA video. It's free. It's on my website, on my YouTube channel. There's the link. You'll find it down below. You can click on it as well. I cover if then else and a lot more like it in my access developer level one class. If you really want to learn how to be an access VBA programmer, there's no better lessons than my access developer series. I got tons and tons of lessons available. We cover all the ins and outs of developing Visual Basic with Microsoft Access. Right now, I'm up to developer level 30, I think, or 38. I'm sorry, 38. So there's lots and lots of stuff on my website. Come check it out. Hope you learned something in this fast tip video, and we'll see you soon. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.